Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. And today we have a short video where I'm going to explain the axis of movement in a CNC machine. The table moves in two axes of movement. You have X axis that runs across. You have Y axis that runs back to the back of the table and you have z-axis where the spindle drops down. When you program manually or with a CAD CAM system, you can actually rotate and move all axes at the same exact time to create any cut or profile needed. When you hear somebody talk about a fourth axis machine, it's still the X, the Y, the Z, all moving at the same time, but they add an additional axis of movement. To explain it, let's walk over to my horizontal mill and I'll show you how the A axis, the fourth axis, actually works. So over here, we have a fourth axis machine. It's actually running right now, but I don't have to stop it to open the door. I have one cluster tower, meaning the vices don't sit on the table. They actually are stacked up and you got four vices around the A axis of movement. When I say A axis of movement, it's the rotation of the cluster. The spindle on a horizontal is actually horizontal. So it's coming down in Z moving over in X and up and down in Y. And then when you wanna do the side work, the fourth axis work, you simply rotate axis A, go to the side and hit it from the side. That's the brilliance of a fourth axis. So this part is done. It's waiting to get reloaded. I'm gonna close this door that's a fourth axis. Now let's go see a fifth axis machine. All right, so the fourth axis was amazing, but this is my boy right here. This is a fifth axis machine. This is the machine that is locked down and loaded with work month after month because we solve problems on this machine. We're able to hit five different sides of a part or more depending on the complexity all at the same time, which gets rid of unnecessary setups. So on a five axis machine, you still have the Z's coming down, the X is across, the Y axis is to the back of the machine, just like on the three axis, but now, it's all about the table. On the A-axis, the table rotated, but on the five-axis, we call it a B-axis, which would be our fourth. So the table rotates on these joints right here. The table pops up here and pops up on the other side, and it rotates. That's B-axis. As it's pivoting up, the table rotates in a circle, and that's the C axis. So it's X, Y, Z, B, C axis. Five axis of movement, making it happen. So we're gonna make parts right here in America, American built, boom.